what's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. Good morning! Ah, oh, rainy day. Ah, oh, don't you love it when it's nice and bright and sunny? Anyway, I'm having a great day. How's your day going? I hope it's going good. All right. Today, I would like to talk to you guys about the Jehovah Witness demonification of apostates. Or, you know what? I don't even want to use the word that they use. I'm tired of using the words that they use. You should probably stop using them too. Because there's no such thing as an apostate in the definition in which they've made up for one. The people who've chosen to leave the organization and speak out about the atrocities that go on inside of it. Why must they demonize people that do that? Well, let's start right here. First off, they like to claim that there's no good reason to leave the organization. Are you kidding me? You want to go? Look at this love we have for each other. <laughs> yeah, it's a little conditional, but it's still a little love. You know what I mean? You got all this fellowship with the brothers and sisters, and look at how clean we are and how clean we keep the congregation and all that good stuff. Why would anybody want to leave? We even have our own court system with the judicial committee of the elders and stuff. This is where you want to be. I know I just triggered a bunch of y'all. Right? I know. I know you're like, oh, man, I can, I can pick out and point to it, like a bunch of different reasons why it's a terrible reason to be a Jehovah's Witness. Yes, I get it. But if their argument is it's a good organization and there's no reason to leave, let me point out a story. Because there's a girl that I know who was a Jehovah Witness. And while she was a Jehovah Witness, she was attacked physically by some man in the congregation. Now, she prayed to Jehovah for him to do something, and he did nothing. He prayed, well, she talked to the elders. <laughs> some of the elders want you to pray, pray to them. But she talked to the elders, and the elders, you know, they had a judicial committee with the guy. The guy, of course, lied about it. And not only did he lie, uh, they, because they didn't have another witness, two witness rule, nothing happened to him. Nothing came of the entire story, and that was it. They just were left, well, if he's lying, Jehovah would have to deal with him. But Jehovah ain't deal with him when she prayed. You know what I'm saying? So, if that's what we're working with, we have a major problem. But anyway, she heard about this. She found out nothing was going to happen. She found out that she was just going to have to accept what happened and quote-unquote move on. Are you kidding me? Really? No. That sounds like a great reason to leave any organization or group or anything that's okay with something like that happening and refuse to report it to the correct authority. She didn't report it herself, but she did leave the organization. Now, mind you, if you're saying that there's no good reason to leave, I counter with that story. That's a great reason to leave any organization. And now that she left, she leaves and she starts to do research on this organization because that's what you do. When something has been a part of your life for so long and it encompasses everything that goes on, I'm talking about, down to whether or not you're beat off or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, they all in your business. You want to know more about them. You want to start looking at all the things they told you not to look at because you've lost trust in them. And when you lose trust in something, you, the first thing you do is start looking at what you've been told not to look to. You know what I'm saying? Like if I've been cool with somebody all my life and they've been telling me, you know, don't look up what they do over there on this side of the farm because, uh, you know, they don't like you over there. I'm like, what? They don't like me over there? Only you like me, huh? Yeah, only I like you. Then I found out he'd been putting cat poop in my socks every morning. You know what I'm saying? One day I figure out, you know what, I'm tired of these people putting cat poop in my sock. And then I see it's him. He's the one putting the cat poop in my sock. <laughs> so when you find out that he's been putting the cat poop in your sock, now you got to go to the people that he's been saying is terrible to you and they don't like you and they hate you. And then you talk to him, you're like, you're like, we've never had a problem with you. He's the only person that says negative things about you and bad things about you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the normal thing that happens. When you find out that somebody whom you trusted were giving you bad information, you need to look up the information that they were giving you and confirm what they're saying to be true. So that's what people do after they leave the organization. Everything, oh, you said don't look at the internet. Oh, you said don't search the sites that uh, oppose uh, what we're saying. Okay, because while you're in it, I remember I was, 
I never even heard about the like the child stuff that was going on because the simple fact I didn't I I was cut off from the information. It was going on, but I was cut off from the information and I didn't want the information. I didn't even look for it. You know what I'm saying? So they must demonize anybody who's going against what they're saying because especially people who were once Jehovah Witnesses. Because the excuse that Jehovah Witnesses use when they're talking to people who aren't Jehovah Witnesses is, oh, you just don't understand. Oh, you just don't get it. You don't understand because you never lived it. So you can't possibly get it, so you can't possibly understand, so why should I listen to anything you have to say? You can't say that to people who are actually in the trenches of the Jehovah Witness organization. You can't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Even though like them stage three people on my <laughs> YouTube page, they be on there. Jay, you've never been in Jehovah's Witness. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. And you know it too. That's what pisses you off. <laughs> but the thing is, the, the, the biggest thing is, is that they cannot have 8 million people waking up. And if 8 million people had the freedom to search anything that they wanted to search and compound and contrast, like the stuff that they've been told versus the stuff that people who were also members told them, that'd be a, a large crowd of people leaving the organization like that. And of course, the organization simply can't have that. After all the atrocities and things that they've done, and they poison the well too, because they know how people are gonna come after them. They know what they've done. They know how they've hurt people. They know how they've manipulated and, and the strange families and have people do things to their own kids. You know what I'm saying? Especially via the blood transfusion issue. Like, they know all this stuff. They know it. They, they're well versed in horror. You know what I'm saying? They know horror very, very well. So they know how people who are once witnesses are going to come at them. That's why they always tell people, oh, they're going to be mad and they're going to be angry. Yeah, I would be mad and angry too if you found out the stuff that you found out. And then they're going to start telling you lies like we hid stuff and we did this. Oh, I mean, they'll say anything to get you out. <laughs> now, in, in, in real life, they did do that. But since they poisoned the well, when a brainwashed Jehovah Witness hear it, they're like, see, they told me you was going to say this. They warned me already. Get back away from me, Satan. <laughs> You know what I mean? They just know how you're going to come at them, so they have a defense for it, man. But um, don't be mad. Don't feel scared. And one day, if you are a Jehovah Witness and you're watching this video, open up your ears. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and cannot listen to or who you can and who you cannot talk to. You're an adult. You have the power of reasoning, common sense, and the ability to judge certain things that happen in your life and that you hear. So if you have those abilities, use those abilities. You have them for a reason. You believe in God? If you do, then you have to believe he gave you those for a reason. And you have to not trust anybody who tells you to go against those. So that's my basic argument. But I also, in this video, I wanted to talk to all the people who have been donating to my GoFundMe for my comedy special. Thank you guys so much. Like seriously, we we over two hundred dollars now, <laughs> and oh my God, man! Like I cannot express how deeply touched I am that people are donating and giving their hard-earned money to help me reach my dream. You know what I'm saying? My little stupid dream of doing stand-up comedy. You know what I mean? Now, I know. <laughs> if, I, if I do this, right, and I get it like to a platform like Netflix or something like that, I will be on a position to do even more. Because trust me, if I have any type of light shine on me, I'm going to talk about the atrocities that go on in the Jehovah Witness organization. You best believe it. It might start off in joke format, but you better believe me. I'm going to speak out about it. But um, that's just one way. That's just one promise I will make to you. And that's also something that I, I just want to let you guys know going forward. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to always ride for this cause. This is not something I'm going to put down or... or, or or just set aside or try to ignore because even if I did acquire any type of level of success and fame from this, 
I'm going to continue to speak out about it. I'm not going to stop. Like, I'm not going to give up on this. You know what I mean? So any and everybody who has donated, and if you want to still donate, I'll put the link in the description. But uh, to the people who have already donated, oh, man, thank you so much. So, 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 so much. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man. And um, you got a ride in me. If you need anything, reach out to me, all right? Holla at your guala. Deuces.